This is module 1.2.2 for Health IT, the Management Information Cycle. Steve Parenti, Professor, Department of Finance. So in this uh, lecture, we're going to talk about the Management Information Cycle uh, and go through uh, this different areas, the goals and objectives, estimation demand, allocate resources to meet demand, uh, control quality and performance, value results, and reestablish goals and objectives. And really, uh, if you notice, that goes back to this, so it's almost like a, a circle of how this normally goes. And actually, for those folks that are in the uh, healthcare field or maybe do quality of care stuff, uh, you know that this is the total quality improvement cycle. And uh, I'm sorry, I just you just have to forgive me for this one. But when I all this time when I think about this song from the 70s, I'm that old, um, from Harry Chapin, who's a fabulous artist, uh, did this song, Taxi, which is a fabulous song, but he has a song all my life's a circle that really captures this whole idea here. If you just bear with me. All my life's a circle. All the circle, that's right. See, even even it says circle there. The moon rolls through the nighttime. Till the day break comes around. That's right, your professor lost it. So let's move on. So back to this. We talk about what are these goals and objectives estimates. We're gonna go through each one of these uh, pieces. Uh, for the information cycle and uh, hopefully not have quite as many distractions. So another component here is uh, the idea of um, this mantra in health data. And this mantra actually is uh, a manager's mantra that uh, I learned when I was working very early in life. It was a really a systems engineer, uh, more than anything else, a chemical engineer. And his, uh, he started off with saying, if it's not measurable, it's not manageable. And then if it's not manageable, it's not meaningful. And if it's not meaningful, then don't do it. So one of the things are there are other healthcare examples of this, um, you know, where you might say, you know, I really, if I can't measure how I'm actually going to make this patient better, there's no way I want to start managing them. So why would I even want to engage in that treatment plan? That's reasonable. But there's also times where you know, you're trying to be in an emergency situation or other things and you're not quite sure you can measure everything perfectly. And, but yet you still have to manage it. And so if you don't actually take any action, you know, someone could die. So I could argue that there's really, you can go on either side of this uh, issue. Um, but as a ideal, I think it's useful in that you should always seek to try to measure something, measure some outcome, measure some performance, measure costs. And so that gives you some sense of what actually your outcomes are. And then because of that, then you can actually find meaning in it and can translate that to others because let's face it, healthcare is a hugely expensive enterprise. And then by putting some meaning to it, then you can know whether or not you continue doing it or not and actually improving someone's health or actually stopping doing it and find another technology. So, there are three types of systems relevant uh, to healthcare that just, again, we're still in systems theory. First is mechanical, uh, second would be human systems, and then finally the interaction, the human machine uh, systems. And so uh, for each one of these, you should start thinking about what kind of health examples might there be. Like in the case of mechanical, one of the most pure ones is essentially like a, um, a thermometer or changing, basically it's a physical technology that sort of uh, operates to uh, control uh, heat or cooling in sort of an area. Human systems are pretty obvious. That could be the provider, it could be a nurse, it could be anyone that's really handcrafting a technology. You know, someone just doing first aid on you is a human system. And then as far as human machine systems, it could be, you know, the ultimate is the heart-lung machine, something that's in an ER setting or, or in a ICU, intensive care unit setting, uh, where uh, in effect, you, you need the humans and you need the technology to keep the folks uh, going. And there's, there's many different illustrations of those. You can think of uh, others as you, uh, but there's radiology systems, um, different types of things in emergency room care, robotic surgery, the Da Vinci machines, all those things uh, come into play there as well. And then as you're thinking about these um, uh, different types of systems, one should keep in mind what are your objectives uh, with these systems. Again, this is getting to that issue of like what's measurable, right? And so that you can manage things. So 
Uh, are you trying to look at outcomes assessment? Are the patients getting better or worse? Uh, are you looking at cost control in terms of why you have uh, these systems in place? Are you looking for utilization review or analysis to know how many services you're using and then try to estimate from that how many people are going to need services or insurance contracts in the future? Are you doing this for program planning and evaluation? Maybe there's a new uh, program you have in place to restrict or reduce opiate addiction, and you want to plan out how you're going to approach it and then how, whether it worked uh, in terms of the evaluation. Are you going to try to simplify an external process? So there's many times where there could be <clears throat> a lot of manual effort that goes into something that could easily be simplified if there was a technology, uh, if or even it's just a... Uh, basically a re-engineering exercise of a multiple step process. Clinical research, um, you need to know what your outcomes are going to be from clinical trials, uh, whether it's um, the different trials, the stages that you go in for the FDA for drug trials, uh, and then finally obviously education as well. So people learning things in medical school, uh, nursing programs, uh, even management programs about uh, learning more about what the different uh, data might uh, describe in terms of managing uh, a better outcome. This concludes uh, this module in systems theory.